Hey, welcome to Construction Zone Online. I'm Pastor Marcus. This is my daughter, OG. And we are decorating the Christmas tree, getting ready for this year's annual Christmas program. Every year our church, ICA Kiev, had, does a Christmas play in front of the church, but because of, the, because of all the coronavirus stuff, we're not even meeting as a church. So uh, we made it as a video this year. I think you'll really like it. I'll explain it later when I introduce the video, but um, uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it. We packed some extras at the end of this, after the play, so stick around and uh, have a Merry Christmas. Welcome to ICA Kids 2020 Children's Christmas Play called Sharing Christmas. Now because it's not possible for us to meet together, we had to be a little creative on how are we going to do the annual Children's Christmas Play. So what I did is I took the story of Jesus' birth and I divided it into nine parts and gave a share to nine different families in our church. Each recorded at home with their camera or their phone or whatever they had. And none of us are professionals or have big budgets, uh, but we each had something to share with the church. And I know you're going to enjoy this little mashup, and I hope Jesus it will be the center of the Christmas you share with your family this year. So let's begin. Daddy, will you read me the Christmas story? Sure, honey, sit down. Let's read it together. The Christmas story. Long, long ago, a girl named Mary was cleaning house when an angel appeared. Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Um, oh no, am I in trouble? Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God and you will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. How can this be? I'm not even married! The Holy Spirit will come on you, and you will give birth to a son of God. I'm the Lord's servant. When Mary told Joseph that she was pregnant, he was very concerned. He had trouble believing Mary's story. What am I going to do about Mary? I don't want to embarrass her. I need to get some sleep. Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Whoa, an angel! What Mary said is true. The baby is from Holy Spirit. He's going to come to save his people from their sins. Whatever God says, I will obey. Joseph had to go to his hometown because of some tax laws. So he took Mary to Bethlehem. But Bethlehem was very crowded. Hello? He couldn't find a room anywhere. What do you want? There's no room here. All the inns are full. Please! This is the last inn. I've checked all the inns. Let us in, please. Well, I can't. There's no room here. Joseph, it's time. Oh, please, please, our baby is coming. Baby? Oh my, what a bad time to have a baby. Well, I do have a barn. Do you want to spend the night in the barn? Yes. Okay, let's go. They were in the same town, shepherds, watching over their flock by night. Oh, I got a board. Well then, go ahead and count the sheep. I can, it puts me to sleep. Well, Suddenly, an angel appeared to the shepherds. Behold! Ah, an angel! Don't be afraid, because I've got good news. Today, in the city of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. You will find Him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill to all men. We should go 
to Bethlehem like the angels uh, told us to. What about the sheep? Well, we should, uh, what? The shepherds hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. We found you! I'm sorry, were you looking for us? You wouldn't believe it, but God sent an angel to tell us where the baby was. We believe it. <laughs> Angels told us, too. Look at the baby. He's so cute. He is, isn't he? We've got to tell everyone. This is the Messiah. Far, far away, in another land, wise men saw an unusual star in the sky. Let me see. Yeah! Who is hogging the telescope? It's, it's the star pro of the prophecy. I, I'm sure of it. Then we should follow it. The king has come! Yes! When the wise men reached Jerusalem, they talked to King Herod, who was very troubled. King Herod, where is the king of the Jews? We saw his star. We him. You came to worship him? <laughs> My scribes say he's supposed to be found in Bethlehem. <laughs> write that down. I know the line, right? You oh. don't know how to write? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> when you find him, bring me news so that I may worship him too. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's go. And when, we'll come back soon. when I find him, I'll get rid of him. The wise men brought gifts to the Christ child and worshipped him. I bring you gold. I bring you myrrh. I bring you frankincense. Thank you. What a night. It, I will never be the same. This is the long prophesied king. Such a special child, it changes everything. And this is the Christmas story. Jesus Christ our Savior was born in Bethlehem and found lying in a manger. And that's why we celebrate Christmas, honey. Thanks, Papa, for reading the story. It's my pleasure. Now why don't you go get your pajamas on because it's time to get ready for bed. Dude, this is Murph the Surf, and I'm here to teach you today's memory verse while we're playing in the snow. Hey, look at that kid building there. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Isaiah 9 6. Hmm, I wonder what that boy is building over there. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Isaiah 9 6. Oh, it looks like he's making a snowman. Oh, be careful there. Kind of slippery, I guess. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Isaiah 9 6. Got a little 2 6 arrow. Mm -hmm. Now it's done. Oh, why is it going away? It's not finished. You don't have a. Well, other way. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Isaiah 9 6. Oh, I see he brought some hat and stuff. Okay. Oh, he looks almost real, doesn't he? Oh. Uh oh. Better wake that kid up. Hey you guys, I was just showing a bunch of cards to Olivia here that I've been collecting, that, well, a lot of them I got from Helen. But there's a lot of different kinds of cards you can give people. This is a little encouragement card, has a little encouraging message in the back there. Here's a Christmas card. You know these guys? You know these guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a thank you card from when we helped the ministry. Here's a goodbye card somebody made when I, when I, uh, did a little move from one ministry to another. 
this is a money card. That's maybe the most fun card to get, right? But, you know, I was looking for, and I don't have, is the birthday invitation, you know? Because we're talking about Jesus' birthday today. One of the most fun cards to get is a birthday card because it's not just an invitation to a birthday party, it's an invitation to a good time, right? What do you get when you go to a birthday party? You have cake. games, what? Cake. Cake, oh, don't tear up the money card, honey. Uh, you get cake, you get good food, you have fun, a whole night of fun. And, uh, and so invitations, birthday invitations make us feel special. Not everybody can be invited to every party because your house is only so big. So if a friend chose you to come to his birthday party, that makes you feel really good because you get to come along to his house, or to the bowling alley, or wherever they have their birthday. God could have sent an invitation for Jesus' birth to anybody, to rich people, to royalty, kings and queens, the powerful people. But what did he do? He chose to send an angel to invite shepherds to see his baby birth. And, you know, by doing that, he was kind of saying to the world that everybody is welcome to come to Jesus. Not just special people or rich people, but shepherds are very humble. When he invited shepherds, he's kind of saying, this is, Jesus is coming for everybody. And when the shepherds left that place, do you know what they did? What? I know. What? They told everybody about Jesus. That's right. They told everybody about Jesus' birth. And so, um, Christmas is an invitation to make Jesus the Lord of your life. What a good Christmas present you can give to Jesus is to give him lordship of your life. And like the shepherds, we should share the good news with others and commit ourselves to following Jesus. Hey, we are going to save our drawing for next week. A lot of you had been, been involved in the play this week and recording for that, plus school and all that stuff. So I thought I'd give you one. We only had a few entries for our Christmas ornament making challenge. So those of you who sent, you don't have to do it again. I've got the ones that you've sent. But next week, if you haven't done it yet, send in a picture of any Christmas tree ornament you made for your tree. And we're going to draw a name and the winner is going to get a Lego minifigure. All right? Sound like fun? A good construction zone prize. And so we sure enjoyed doing this with you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I made a Christmas. Say bye-bye.